okay, so it's the big day, right? And the big day that we're all scared of, the client you're going to meet at the comfortable coffee shop or cozy cafe, right? And you're nervous. And some of you may be like, what are you going on about? I'm not nervous at all. That's awesome. I'm just saying that because I was. So if you're nervous about this, don't worry, you're in good company and we're going to make it really easy. So let's go through the scripts for what happens at that meeting, right? You've already invited them. And I'm going to go through two client scripts, a little bit different language in each, and then one for centers of influence, somebody like an accountant or an attorney or maybe a family member that's particularly influential, but they're not clients, right? Centers of influence that are not clients. Okay, so number one, current clients. Like client shows up, you know, you do whatever, you know, small talk you want. I know in some parts of the world, small talk's really important. In other parts of the world, it doesn't really matter. Whatever, you get to it and you say, hey, I'm gonna pretend the client's name is Rick. Rick, thanks so much for taking the time today. You know, I've really enjoyed working with you and the family. In fact, I love more clients who are just like you. If you were me, how would you go about that? So simple. Just let that hang in the air. It's okay. It might feel a little uncomfortable. As long as you have your mindset right, it won't be awkward or un it won't be a burden. It won't be perceived as a burden. It might be a little uncomfortable, but it won't be perceived as a burden. If you have your mindset straight, you're just curious. You're an investigative journalist at this point, an academic looking into this problem, right? So if you were me, how would you go about that? So that's one. Number two, slightly different. You know, Rick, thanks for taking the time to meet today. I would love to ask you for your advice. I really enjoyed working with you as a client. I love to work with more clients just like you. If you were me, how would you find more people just like you? Just let it sit there. Now I have to admit, I like the first one better. If you were me, how would you go about that? It leaves it much more broad. I like it. Now, let me just mention here that if you have a niche, this is where the rocket fuel happens. If you don't have a niche, don't let that be an excuse not to have these conversations. But if you do have a niche, it's like rocket fuel, which is why I'm so endlessly banging the drum on having a niche, right? Makes everything better. So here's where you could do the niche, insert the niche, right? Rick, I've really enjoyed working with you and the family. In fact, I'd love more entrepreneurs who've had a successful exit like you as clients. If you were me, how would you go about that? So you just insert name of niche there, right? Beautiful. So that's, those are the two, the two scripts for clients. Now let's talk about a third one for centers of influence. This may be an accountant, an attorney, you know, a consultant. It may be a family member who's just very influential and is not a client. Whatever the case may be, these aren't clients. That's the important part, right? You've sent them an invite. The invite is almost exactly the same. You know, and again, they only made it on your invite list because they would say yes, right? So these are friends. This isn't like, you can't use this as a cold call invite, right? These are people who think highly of you. So um, the, invite's al the invite was almost exactly the same. Hey, Sally, Sally's an attorney. You and Sally have done a little bit of work together. Sally thinks highly of your work. You think highly of Sally's. The invite was something like, Sally, we're exploring, we're considering making some changes in the way we do business development or marketing and communication and I'd love to get your advice. Would you mind if we met at the cafe for 15 minutes sometime right after work or in a, one afternoon, you know, whatever you wanna say there. Invite's almost exactly the same. Here though, when we ask the question, we can change it a little bit, right? We can say something this simple. We're making some changes about how we do business development at Prasada Capital, name of firm, right? And I would like to work with more clients, and then you've got to insert some description here. And the easiest one is niche. Right now, Sally is an accountant and Sally works with a bunch of entrepreneurs who've had a successful exit to hammer on that one, right? So you can say here, Sally, um, we're making some changes about how we do business development at Prasada Capital um, to really focus because we'd like to work more with more entrepreneurs who've had a successful exit. And I know you have unique insight into that group. If you were me, how would you go about that? Right? That's the one we use with centers of influence. It, it just involves a little. Now, if you don't have a specific niche, you just need to have some idea, some truthful idea that Sally has insight into a group that you would like to work with. 
You know, it could be something like this. Sally, we're making some changes about how we engage in marketing and communication at Prasada Capital. And we want to focus more on clients like John. John's somebody that Sally referred to me, right? I know, you know, you and I, I've enjoyed working and I've enjoyed working with John and we want to have more clients just like John. If you were me, how would you go about that? So that's the situation in which the center of influence has referred somebody that you've enjoyed working with and you can bring that up with Sally. That's it. It's not hard. You can do it. Go do it 10 times. That's the conversation. That conversation we need to have 10 times, 10 times. If you, I'm just going to keep hammering on this. If you, if business development is important to you right now, if getting new clients is where your focus is, I know of no faster way than this, right? There's a whole bunch of work to do on, on niche marketing and content marketing and all of that stuff. And you should, we should, well, and we might want to be engaged in that. I don't know if you should or not. We might, might want to be engaged in that. But while we're doing it, if growing a business is critical to you right now, 10 of these conversations, 10 of these conversations will change the business. That's for sure. So that is the uh, scripts for the actual referral conversation. Can I tell you a quick story? Years ago, Michael Kitsis and Alan Moore came to me and said, and I was a little offended by this, to be honest. They came to me and they said that, Carl, I know you think it's these cute little sketches that you draw. I don't think they use those words, but I know you think it's these cute little sketches that you draw that have made the impact, but the real impact and what you're seen as in the industry is the master communicator. Now, I was honored and humbled by that, but I have seen little hints or threads of that over the last decade. Everywhere I go, advisors say the same thing. I don't know how to talk to people. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to talk to people when, it, when it's called marketing. How do I have a good for it? What do I say? What do I say? Right? Because it turns out it's hard. I completely empathize. It's especially hard if you're a rock star with a calculator and spreadsheet to also know what to say when you call it marketing and how do I ask for referrals in a way that doesn't make me feel gross. Like all of those things have come up over and over. So in response, I finally, we just took everything I'd ever um, I'd ever used, everything I've ever learned, everything I did myself, everything I've heard great advisors do and put it together in one giant reference guide and we called it the School of Advice. You get immediate access to all the material and you get access for life, right? You can go back to it anytime you want. When you bump into a problem, go back into the School of Advice. It's covered there, right? I'm so convinced you'll love it that we've got a free trial for you to go in and see and in fact, go in and take as many ideas as you can. Like I'm convinced that once you see it, you will see this as an investment in a better, bigger, more impactful business, right? And not an expense. And that's my goal. So I'd love to have you in the school of advice.